Ah, the levers of power. The levers of power. What are the levers of power? All right, so November 6, 2018. Ah, the levers. You know, like the Wizard of Oz, he's in the machine and he's, he's working those levers of power and he's broadcasting his fake message to the ignorant masses. Huh? Are those the levers of power? The Wizard of Oz is in his twice. Or is it, is it politics? Is it the... Going down a rabbit hole. So the levers of power in America are clear. 400 congressmen, 100 senators, about 500 people. Five and a quarter, give or take. Oh, truth train! Truth train! Truth train is coming. Bada bing! So, the levers of power in the United States are about 500 guys, women, whatever, radicals. And November 6th, those people will be up for re-election. Most of them. Most of House of Representatives, Representatives is every two years. So most of those people are up for re-election. And Senate is six years, which is obscene. And many of those um, senators are up for re-election. Truth train! Well, let's, let's just enjoy it. Ah. Ah. fine wine, the truth train. So all these people are up for re-election. Now, the idea for people running, right? If you're running, it's like a horse race, right? You're running, you're running candidates, not you, not me. We're not running shit, right? But the billionaire class is running candidates right now. Koch brothers, what, they dump in about $800 million, right? You gotta, rem you gotta realize that there's about $2 billion on the line. On, on this horse race November 6th, right? And why? Because it's levers of power, right? When you control the House and you control the Senate and you control how they vote, you control the country. You are in control, right? Now, is it the senators? We want to blame the senators and congressmen, right? Oh, fucking, Cong oh, fucking politicians are all crooked. Yeah, they are crooked. We know that. That's not news. But who's paying them? Who's paying them? That's the real corruption. It's 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 corporate cash. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Right, so the false flag, I, I'm gonna double down on the false flag because, because they need a distraction. They don't want you to vote, right? They don't want you to vote. They don't care if you vote or not, because it the the, the fix is already in, right? The rigging is already in. Right? All they have to do is, as I said, they, they manufacture the consent so that when those elections are stolen, it's not that unbelievable. The, the fake media will continue to run the, 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 the false narratives that these politicians are popular. Look, look how they're polling. They even said it about Joe Biden. Fucking Joe Biden. Oh, my God. Joe Biden is, is, is beating Trump. <laughs> uh, beating Bernie Sanders in the primary. Another truth train. We're just going to enjoy this one. Now I'm going to turn. Oh! 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 <laughs> it's so refreshing. It's sobering. Sobering truth train. They were saying Joe Biden is, is more popular than Bernie Sanders. <laughs> so it is. They hold, up, they hold up a shit sandwich and they, they hold up the... the the the, uh, the golden dove, and they say, oh, see, they're the same, because we're counting the we're counting the the ballot, we're counting the fucking polling. It's all fake now, right? So, so the false flag, right? The next false flag leading up to November sixth. Uh, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it closely. I'm I'm gonna make. I'm I'm predicting that it'll it'll be an ex it'll it'll almost definitely be a an extension of the stories that the mainstream media is trying desperately to sell, right? So what are those stories? Fake Russia, Russia had something to do with uh, election meddling. Maybe you'll, maybe they'll, they'll have, you know, they'll, they'll lock up five Russians um, 
and 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 have you know testimonials, some, some crazy shit like that, right? Because they, they'll try to prove their own bullshit, right? prove their own story. The other one, and and um, uh, Judy Cop suggests that uh, uh, a direct action on the Trump family. I don't know. The president is pretty well protected. I mean, he's he's you know he he has an arsenal of people around him and. And uh, I, I don't want to think about that. I don't want to predict the assassination of Trump. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that that's the, the motive. The motive is is to discredit him and then run in their House and Senate, those 500 positions. That's the levers of power. Right? When they have those levers of power, all the bills that they want, all the, all the corporate crap bills that they want, the banking bills that rape you, that re refuse to give the country universal health care, that refuse to give the country free college tuition at city and state universities, that raise the corporate tax rate, that, that lower the corporate tax rate instead of raising it to 80% where it's supposed to be, that pass massive military spending to the tune of, you know, $700 billion a year against an enemy we don't have. Those are all decisions made by your Congress, your House, your Senate, right? Your House. Mostly the House of House of Representatives, right, and then Senate approves them. Right? So that's the horse race, right? That's what where the so so what the what the billionaire class and the oligarchy needs is that they need to they need to keep they've or, the rig is in, right? The rig is always in with these elections. They pay each politician thirty million dollars, right? All the money's in place. All the everybody's paid off, right? It's 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 a totally rigged horse race. We already know the winners. But nonetheless, the mainstream media still has to manufacture the consent by the people so they don't lose their fucking minds and say, look, if they, you know, people know it's rigged, but they don't quite believe it. Right? So the, the idea that, that the way to cover will be a false flag is, is, is clear now, right? And don't think for a second that because Parkland and, and, and uh, what was the other one, Parkland and Sandy Hook, because they're children, that that's, that's un, untalkable. Like, you can't talk about that. No, that's exactly what you talk about. That's why they pick those types of events. They're pulled, they're, those are, they're, they're, it's like a advertising. They go in, they ask, uh, you know, a room full of people, what, what would you least like to, you know, what, what, what do you think is most sacred? You know, and, and it's always children, you know. Don't talk about the children. Right? So... And if you don't think your, 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 your country and your government is that corrupt, then really time to wake up. Right? So I think that um, we could see something along the, the, the lines of an actual Russian intervention along the border of Russia, NATO, some kind of military, watch out, you know, military personnel. You think Benghazi? I never believed Benghazi was a setup, and I still don't. But I think that the idea that that uh, higher military operatives will turn their back on an operation and, and a botched operation is, is very likely, you know. And then you have, you know, there's a justification. See, the Russians, we told you, we told you. And then while that's going on, they're sweeping in their fake politicians. And then once it's over, once the election's settled, then they don't care anymore. They go back to Right? They don't care about your opinion anymore. Right? Our opinion doesn't matter anymore, because with the with the with the fake the, the fake leg of the, you know, right now in D.C. you have people arguing back and forth about, like in Charlton, Shal whatever, so the, that the issues are racial. Right? It's racist, racial, racial. The blacks and the Nazis and the whites and the it doesn't make any sense anymore. It's not the problem in the country. Right? You may think it is, and you may want to believe it, but you should really listen to what I'm telling you, that it's an economic problem. So, oh, also, I'm on a quest for a, a, a thousand subscribers. Let's see if we can make that happen by the time the election rolls around. I think we're at 500. The other thing is um, not only uh, subscribers, but, but watch hours. We need to get over a thousand so that this channel can be monetized and likely appear more in the search engines on YouTube. And, and uh, this message will uh, accelerate. So, Marcus Conte, if you have technology, if you have any web savvy and uh, ability to make that happen above and beyond 
what we're already doing, I, I would appreciate that. So, uh, Marcus Conti, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.